Have you been challenged with finding a way to onboard new customers or tenants that come to you with overlapping IP addresses? Are you tired of having to change network addresses after disaster recovery or migration event? Would you like an automated self-service way of creating new networks on your own without requiring the intervention from your networking team? If these capabilities sound like something you're interested in, please stay tuned to learn more. Hi, I'm Eric Walters. I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Nutanix. Today, we're going to talk about Flow Virtual Networking. We're going to start with an overview and some use cases, and then later in the series, get into the individual elements required to create your own VPC. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a quick look at the different parts of Flow. Flow Network Security is the original Flow. It provides micro-segmentation between VMs in a VLAN and IP network space on the AHV hypervisor. Security Central is the Nutanix SaaS offering that provides auditing, compliance, and threat detection across your on-prem and cloud accounts. Security Central even offers security planning for your on-prem Flow Network Security-enabled clusters. This level of security planning uses machine learning to analyze ingested network data sent from your clusters. Flow Virtual Networking is the most recent addition to the Flow family. Flow Virtual Networking uses overlay networks to provide an enhanced set of network features for the AHV hypervisor. Some of the common questions we get around Flow Virtual Networking are, what's an overlay network? What features does Flow Virtual Networking offer? Why would you want to use Flow Virtual Networking? The basic unit of Flow Virtual Networking is the VPC, or Virtual Private Cloud. This VPC is an isolated network namespace containing user-defined subnets in any address range and a virtual router bringing these all together. A VPC can have a single subnet, it can have multiple subnets. Since we can define these subnets any way we like, we need a way to stop them from conflicting with each other and with the physical networks. That's where overlay technology comes into play. Flow Virtual Networking uses Geneva encapsulation to separate VPCs from each other and from the physical networks. In addition to subnets and routes, you can also define networking policies and even reroute traffic based on source and destination. You'll also need a way to get in and out of your VPC and Flow Virtual Networking has you covered there with the ability to do SNAT or source SNAT floating IPs, also known as one-to-one -one NAT, as well as routing these networks with a no NAT capability. We'll cover each of these features in more detail later in this series. Okay, now that we have our VPCs, what can I do with them? So you could build a self-service developer cloud where each development environment is an isolated sandbox from every other environment spun up on demand with their very own network ranges or even overlapping IP address ranges. You could host different tenant applications that have overlapping IPs and use floating IPs to make them accessible with a unique address. You could even preserve VM IP addresses in a disaster recovery scenario, saving you from having to re-IP your VMs on a failover. These are just a few of the use cases that Flow Virtual Networking enables. Check out the rest of this video series for a deep dive on each feature that makes this possible.